a few camera studies? No sabe, senor. Don't give us that. Give me that bad stuff. <laughs> shooting at him. The poor man was only fishing. With a camera equipped with a telephoto lens. Camera? I'd be careful if I were you. Senor Compton has very sharp eyes. Oh, the lens is easy to spot at this distance. He was probably making a record of that seaplane catapult on the warship. It's just been approved by the American Navy, I believe. You're not trying to tell me he's a spy. I am. Oh, come now. As you English put it, I think you're pulling my leg. My dear Miss Finch, surely you learned on a shipboard that I never take such liberties. Why, Mr. Compton... Oh, well, at least we're getting off to an exciting start. Like one of those blood and thunder novels you write. Oh, I say, Miss Finch, do you really read me? Well, only so I can warn my pupils not to. <laughs> well, I must say I'm disappointed. That dirty old fisherman, a spy. <laughs> Miss Finch wants her spies to be handsome, suave men of the world. Like yourself, Senor Manolo. Thank you, Senor. You two make me nervous. As if you suddenly didn't trust each other. Ah, it is the atmosphere of this place, senorita. The Panama Canal draws agents of all countries here. No one is to be trusted. It is the city of spies. The city of spies. Good title for a book, what? I think I'll use it. But seriously, Miss Finch, Senor Manolo is right. You're in dangerous territory. I don't care. For 18 years, I've been teaching the children of Chicago the mysteries of algebra and geometry. Now I'm going to see something of the world. I'm even going to Mr. Manolo's cabaret tonight. You've promised to show me everything, haven't you, Mr. Manolo? Oh, see, see, senorita. Pardon me while I speak to an old friend. Any answer, Mr. Cabot? Just a minute. Tell Captain Vincent I must report for duty first. I'll try to see him sometime next week if I can get over here. Yes, sir. Well, Mac, it is good to see you again. How is the senora? I think you've made a mistake. Oh, I am so sorry. You look exactly like a friend of mine. Please forgive me. I am Manolo, Manolo's cabaret, you know. Oh, yes, I've heard of it. You are new here, senor? Yes. Government service? Yes, engineering. Then permit me to welcome you. You know, you will like Panama City. Oh, it is so gay, so cosmopolitan, and I hope you will visit my cabaret. Thanks, I will. Well, still asking strangers their life story, Manolo? Senor Godly, I... This... This is a surprise. Why, there's that Mr. Godley who was on the boat with us. He came from England with you, didn't he? I know. He came aboard in New York with you. Oh. Hello, Godley, old man. So you're going with us after all? I thought you were going on to San Francisco. I am, but I suddenly decided to fly over the canal rather than creep through it. Gives me an extra eight hours in Panama City. A cigarette? No, thanks. I never smoked them. Prefer a pipe. Very English. Uh, Miss Finch? Well, why not? Other women do. <laughs> Miss Finch, you're shedding inhibitions every moment. Congratulations. <coughs> <laughs> if you come to my cabaret tonight in a daring red gown, I will know the tropics have done their deadly work. <laughs> well, don't talk nonsense. I'm too sensible to have inhibitions, and I'm too sallow to wear red. But I am enjoying this trip. <laughs> well, I say, look who's here. <laughs> Isn't that Catty, the stewardess from the boat? Oh, yes, the little Czechoslovakian refugee. What's the stewardess doing, flying across the canal? Oh, I feel sorry for her. So when she told me she had singing cafes in Europe, I give her a job. Oh, you must all come tonight and encourage her. Uh, pardon me, please. Passengers for Panama City may come aboard now. We're taking off in five minutes. Thank you. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, senorita, let me take your bag. There is a good-looking young American on the plane. His name, Cabot. Get acquainted with him and find out all you can about him. Oh, uh, take this. Please do not look so nervous. All cameras must be collected during the flight over the canal. Army regulations. It's all right with me, young lady. Show's Uncle Sam isn't asleep. Ma, isn't this cozy? That's how I fit, though. <laughs> The seat is occupied. Things that have no business being there. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, Senor Halid, how are you? Monsieur Manolo, welcome home. Did you have a nice vacation in Europe? Uh, but of course, tell me business. She is still good here? Oh, very good, except for your barber, Felipe. He's in jail. 
Espionage. <laughs> yeah, I should have expected. Why? Because when you find a barber who do not talk all the time, it is very peaceful, but suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Grother. Ah, uh -huh. so the good doctor is still among us, eh? Will you take these, please? Thank you. Cablegram for Dr. Grother. I am Dr. Grosser. Cablegram for you, sir. Thank you. I'll put that in the baggage compartment for no. you. No. I look after this myself. But the rules say that you ah, can't... rules. This box contains the result of a delicate experiment. Months of difficult research. One clumsy move could ruin everything. Everything. Well, may I take this? Thank you. Pass me a safety glass, please. We're taking off. I'll put this out of your way, sir. Thanks. Oh, my, uh, my cigarettes are there. I'm sorry. Smoking is not allowed. All right. Isn't this exciting? Our ship just going through the first lock. Oh, I can't get out. Hmm? You may unfasten your belt until we're ready to land. Thank you. Here, sit on this side. Please do. Is this your first glimpse of the canal? Yes. It's rather a shame to fly it the first time. It looks so insignificant from the air. When you go through it by boat, you realize what a gigantic piece of engineering it is. That's what I've heard. I'm sorry I missed it. Were you on that ship? What's the matter? Nothing. Thank you. Welcome. I can't help thinking of those poor sailors who used to have to sail ships all the way around the Horn. What if they could see us now? It seemed fantastic enough when the canal was built. And they cut the transit down to 10 hours. Precisely. Not satisfied with that, we want to fly it. Stewardess, where should we be in Barboa? 20 minutes, sir. Imagine. to me for the best cigarettes. You bet. Where's the boss, Fu Yen? Fu Yen speaks and offers welcome. How can I best serve most honorable patron? A gentleman would like Panama hat, please. Try this one for size. Oh. Excuse, please. <laughs> this one, mine. <clears throat> Gentlemen, seek headgear for sports activity, for formal wear, or perhaps a businessman special. I hear you're a man of many friends. A thousand friends, too few. Do you have enemies? One enemy, one too many. I guess we understand each other, Mr. Chan. Please. Name is Fu Yan. Sorry. Uh, try this one, please. Good afternoon, senor. Good afternoon, Fu Yan. In Panama, walls equipped with eyes as well as ears. You can't be too careful. Washington has a pretty straight tip that there may be an attempted at sabotage when the fleet passes through the canal tomorrow night. 
Humble self responsible for tip. Noticed large increase in number of secret agents after fleet ordered back to Pacific. Anything more definite than that? Regret to report nothing definite enough to act upon. Maybe I can help you. We've learned that the person who sabotaged the Eldridge dry dock, who crashed the 409... Was secret agent named Reiner? Right. He's the one man we can't spot. It's uncanny. He's brilliant. And yet he's a cold-blooded killer. We think he's here. Reiner, in Panama. Hope you bring some slight clue to his identity. Yes. You see... <coughs> Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Doctor. Wait. Too late for Doctor. Call police. Morto! Policia! 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 Is he dead? While purchasing hat, deceased light cigarette. He take one puff and fall to floor. What do you take from the corpse? Merely seek identification. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What has happened? Was you godly? You know these men? Why, yes, I saw him on the airplane, but I can't understand. He was well and strong when he left the seaplane landing. See, huh? Hmm. Diplomatic passport. He's an American official. You're a spy, maybe. You kill him. You come with me. One moment. Hey, stop. Uh, my hat, please. See. Si. Vamos. Mucho cuidado aquí todo porque lo voy a llevar a la cárcel. Y no le quedas aquí en un momento todo. Hay que cuidar mucho que no vaya a pasar una cosa que se le vaya a ir. Porque este chino es muy peligroso. Y usted queda a cargo de todo. No lo hagas. No lo hagas. No lo hagas. Hey, watch. Pop! Am I glad to see you. How'd you know it was me? Frequent spankings have made favorite son's anatomy most familiar. Last information, offspring working as steward on boat during college vacation. Where is boat now? Oh, gee, I guess it sailed for New York. Uh, explain presence here. Well, when my boat docked in Balboa this morning, I set out to find you. And on the way, I stopped along the waterfront to take some pictures, a few art studies. You know, machinery, locks, and battleships. I was arrested as a spy. Man without relatives is man without trouble. Say, Pop, what are you doing in jail? I cannot talk now, later. You do not know who or what parent is. Oh, I catch on. Captain Lewis, I show you the spy I catch. Lieutenant, your vigilance and cooperation are greatly appreciated. I'll take this man to the governor at once. You, come with me. Hey, what about me? Oh, maybe tomorrow we choose you, I think. Come on. Reiner here in Panama. Any clue to his identity? Unfortunately, Mr. Godley joined ancestors when about to reveal same. That's bad. Come in. Governor, I've completed the autopsy on Godley. Let's have it, Doctor. Concentrate of poison in both lungs. Please. Poison called Bowenite? Yes. How'd you know? Most deadly when inhaled with smoke from cigarette. You were right then, Charlie. Did you analyze the cigarettes in the package? They all contained Bowenite. Why, the poor devil didn't have a chance. All right, Doctor. Thank you. What do you make of it, Charlie? Too soon to make much. But unusual method of causing death is Reiner's signature to crime. Godley and Reiner play cat and mouse game, and mouse strike first. He mustn't strike again. With the fleet scheduled to go through the canal in the next 18 hours, we've got to work fast. Look here, Charlie. Here's our fleet, concentrated off Cristobal at the Atlantic Gate. 
To reach battle stations of the Pacific, the fleet's full war complement must pass through the Gatun Locks, the Gallard Cut, the Pedro Miguel, and the Miraflores Locks. Any one of them a possible point of danger. If lock does not function, battleship caught like fish in trap. A lot of fish, Mr. Chan. The canal is practically invulnerable against naval or aerial attack. But we're at the mercy of Ryder and his kind till they run to Earth. We've got to stop him. I don't need to tell you that the full resources of military intelligence are at your disposal, Charlie. I'm deeply grateful, but think it wiser at present to remain humble purveyor of hats. Fu Yen. Say, gee, Pop, this is just like old times. Uh, but getting offspring out of jail must not become habit. Oh, I mean, you and I working together on a case is just like old times. Was not aware of current collaboration. Well, gee, now that I'm here, I can be a great help to you. You just wait, Pop. You'll be proud of me yet. Can hasten pride by removing order of jail. Scrub. What have you got there, Pop? Floor plan of airplane which bring Mr. Godley to Panama City. Same supplied by Captain Lewis, who has questioned stewardess and all passengers. You mean the murderer might have been on the plane? Yes. How do you figure that? Before boarding plane, Mr. Godley and school teacher smoke cigarettes from Mr. Godley's pack. Neither suffer ill effects. So, someone substitute poison cigarettes after boarding plane. How'd they do it? Weren't they in Godley's pocket? Cigarettes in pocket, Mr. Godley's top coat, which stewardess placed on rear seat, easily accessible to all passengers. Then one of them is Ryder. Quite possible. But hiding behind what name? Finch? Halid? Ahmed Halid? Say, he sells cigarettes right across the street from you. And Godley was killed by a poison cigarette. I've not overlooked that. Who's Miss Finch? Chicago school teacher. Young? Young maiden of 50 summers or more. Oh. Richard Cabot? Who's he? Government engineer. Oh, he's out then. Say, here's a foreign name. Cathay Lenish. Who's she? Young lady who left job as stewardess on boat to sing in cabaret operated by Senor Manolo. Left the boat, huh? Dad, that sounds suspicious. I think I'll go to the cabaret and look that girl over tonight. Parent has reserved task for self. Well, isn't there anybody I can investigate? Who's Dr. Rudolph Grosser? Also neighbor. Viennese scientist. Has rooms over Halid's tobacco shop. Wait a minute. Dr. Grosser. Rudolph. Vienna. Bugs, I've got it. We studied Grosser in our biology class. He's an expert on tropical diseases and plagues. Don't you see? Grosser's our man. And if he knows all about plagues, why, he can manufacture one and let loose horrible disease germs into the American fleet. Why, Pop, it, it, it's horrible. It, it's awful. Quite correct. Suggest you waste no time investigating, Doctor. All right, Pop. Who? Me? Investigate him? Alone? With all those bugs? Oh, Pop! Out of my way. But you must listen to me. You've got to move from here or stop what you're doing. It's driving me insane. Mind your business. The rent I pay is big enough. I do as I please. The danger. Ah, you are stupid and I have no time for fools. Stop, Grosser, or I'll make you. You will make me? I do not advise you to try it. You come to pay a visit to my shop? I thought I'd like some more of your mixture. Oh, yes. Come in, please. Were you pleased with my last shipment, monsieur? An excellent blend. I thought I'd stock up while I'm here. I have a new mixture I would like you to try, monsieur, but uh, it would be more expensive. If I like it, I'll pay your price. Send it along to the Hotel San Pablo. Any time this evening will do. Thank you. 
Dr. Grosser lives here, huh? Yes, monsieur. Interesting fellow, what? Well, cheerio. Good night, monsieur.
evening, senor. Oh, Fu Yang. Uh, this is a surprise. Many times you visit my store, I am now returning compliments. Well, don't look so sad about it. Have a drink. Very difficult to smile. Death visit my humble shop today. Oh, yes, senor Godley. I forgot it happened in your place. And just think, only today we were on the same plane together. Oh, it is too bad. I... Gentlemen complain of being sick on plane? Well, I do not know. I was asleep most of the way. Ah, oh, General. Greetings. I have a fine table for you. Come. You're kind of curious, aren't you? You better come go with me. No, let me go. Let me go. Hey, Corporal. Uh, let me go. Uh, but I've done nothing wrong. What's the idea, sailor? I don't want to start no spy scare, Corporal, but this girl here, she's, she's trying to pump me about the fleet. Yeah? Well, what does she want to know? She wants to know the exact time the fleet goes through the canal. Oh, she does. Just a minute, officer. This is ridiculous. I'll vouch for this girl. Who are you? I'm Caput, new superintendent of the Miraflores Power Control. That cuts no ice here. You come what with us. What has happened here? Oh, the police. Who caused trouble in Monello's Cabre? They're arresting Miss Lennish as a spy. But for why? She is a singer. Yeah? Well, why does a singer want to know the exact hour the fleet goes into the canal? Is that why you arrest her? My good man, this is Panama. Everyone is interested in the coming and going of ships. It is our living. And with the entire fleet coming in, perhaps, to anchor, well, <laughs> you can understand why a pretty singer, she is interested in the sailors who will come to hear her sing. <laughs> is that all you had on your mind, sister? Of course. I didn't know it was wrong to ask questions. Well, I guess there's been no harm done. Ah, no, all right, no, get, back to your, get back to your dancing, folks. Have a drink with me? No, thanks. Not while I'm on duty. I'm sorry, lady. Can I buy you a drink? I'm cutting in here, sailor. Let's find a quiet place. Miss Slendish, it's none of my business, I know, but is there any way I can help you? Help me? Why, thank you, but I don't need any help. You're frightened of something. What is it? But I'm not, I assure you. Why are you working here? I must earn money to live. You're strange to this country, and that's the reason I'm talking like this. Oh, please don't misunderstand me, but this is no place for you. Why, it's just a dive. I know. Do you have to work for Manola? Do you have to? Please, if you really want to help me, don't ask any more questions. All right. Thank you. Well, I'll you. No, I'll back It's a high-class place. You're going to like it. Oh, Miss Fitch, you have to keep your promise. Oh. Welcome to Manolo's. Thank you. Well, now, this doesn't look so wicked. Ah, you have looked for a wicked place, huh? Of course not. But I do intend to see all there is to see. Ah, so you bring a police escort, huh? Well, that is very nice. Will you have a drink with me? Oh, not at the bar. At a table, perhaps. Why, yes, of course, this way. Pa, you've got to come with me. Good evening. What's this? Did you bust out of jail? No need to bust. Absence of proof, open cell door. This is news, Mr. Fuyan. What were you in jail for? Offense of no importance, senor. I'm no importance. I arrest you for espionage, suspicious of murder. And you say no importance. Oh, goodness. Another spy? What spy? Never mind. Who's that spy? Never mind. 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 But really, I don't know, but the lieutenant said that man. Take him out. Outside. Come on. Let him out. 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 Let him you started a riot. I started it. You started it. You said you arrested him. Turn up for me. Stop. 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 Come on. Get out. Stop. He's Come not on. a spy. He's my pop. Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan. The great Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan. Charlie. Well, this is really exciting. Mr. Chan. I am honored. Not every day do I entertain a celebrity like you. Gee, Pop, I'm awfully sorry. I was afraid they'd hurt you. Perhaps much better to let cat out of bag than 
drowned same. <laughs> Excuse, please. Oh, Mr. Chan, you aren't going. No, 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 please do stay. I insist as my guest. I will give you a royal box. I will give you champagne. And you can tell us some of your experiences. Do stay, Mr. Chan. Thank you so much for hospitality, but please, must ask for a rain check. Good night. Uh -huh. Good night, rain check. He talks nice. Now, will please explain reason for untimely visit? Dr. Grosser. This place is full of creepy animals. Tarantulas, monkeys, and rats. Yes, yes, I know. Have not been asleep while living cross street from mysterious doctor. But do you know his rats are infected with bubonic plague? Bubonic plague? Yeah, he's going to use them to infect the fleet. Must see rats. When prepared for worst, can hope for best. You must be a pretty foolish lieutenant arresting Charlie Chan for espionage. Maybe not so foolish. While still posing as Mr. Fu Yen, Chan told me that Senor Garley died in his hat shop. He did? Is that why you arrested him, Lieutenant? I don't talk police business before nobody. You don't have to worry about Hanif, Pop. I saw him following Dr. Grosser. Who was it before? Perhaps Doctor has returned. Doctor Grosser. Doctor Grosser. Yeah. Oh, don't be nervous, Pop. It's probably just that monkey. Yeah. Oh, that was no monkey. Honor of a pussy cat. Oh, I knew it was some kind of an animal. Funny. I could have sworn I heard a noise. I must be hearing things. Thank you, hear own imagination. Did same imagination create infected rodents? Why, they're gone. I tell you, Pop, these cages were full of rats when I left to get you. These lights weren't on. Somebody came in here and took them. He's going to infect the fleet. He's going to spread the plague through the canal zone. Everywhere. The grocer is Reiner. Possible. Colonel Webster, Lieutenant Chan speaking. Request detention of Dr. Grosser. Bubonic rats? That's fantastic. All right, we'll pick him up for questioning. Call Medical Corps and send out plague warning and have Dr. Grosser brought in for questioning. Yes. Anything else, Charlie? No, but one moment, please. Yes. Please request from British Consul complete information on Cliveton Compton, English novelist. Thank you so much. Cliveton Compton? But what's he got to do with Grocer? My answer is known may prove very interesting. Come. But what are we going to do now? Put number two son to bed. Oh, gee, Pop, you can't drop me right in the middle of a case. Pop! <laughs> Bed. Young brain like grass need dew of sleep. Oh, but Pop, I've got a swell theory. Theory also belong in bed. Oh, well, all right. We'll return after a small errand. Do not wait. Good night. Mr. Compton, please. Mr. Campton, room 35. The key is here. I'm afraid the guest is out. Thank you. We'll wait. Senor. Coffee, please. Quick, 
Lieutenant. Follow that man. What? He was on the airplane today with Mr. Godley. I think someone on that plane killed him. I think if you don't stop playing detective, somebody's going to kill you. All right, I'll behave. Thanks so much for escorting me. Shall we say the same time tomorrow night? Excuse, but I'm not on duty tomorrow night. I'll send someone else. Thank you very well. Bonne sorte. Good night, lady. What are you doing here? Why you are not at the cabaret? I was looking for you. Mr. Nola, I, I can't go on with that job. You saw what happened tonight. You are very independent for a girl without a passport. Go back to work. Con el señor Rubio? No, hombre, no, no, hombre. ¿Con quién? Te estaba esperando yo anoche. Sí, te fuiste con el señor Rubio, ya lo sé, hombre. It's a good thing you turn on that light. I might have hurt you. Not too horrible to contemplate. This was theory that overheats Sun's brain? Yeah, I must have been thinking along the same lines as you. You're here. Was door unlocked when you arrived? Yes. And what has amateur housebreaking revealed? Dr. Grosser's rats? Well, no. But I found out Compton's an Englishman. Excellent. How you arrive at that? Well, I figured Compton might be Reiner posing as an Englishman. But his clothes are really English. So is his soap and his shoes. Why, even this humidor has an English school emblem on it. See? Hmm. You know, the Englishmen are very sentimental about their schools. Yes, son, suppose operator as clever as Reiner would be ignorant of same. Gosh, I never thought of that. If he was posing as an Englishman, this is exactly the kind of stuff he'd use. Pop, be careful. Did you see him? That gun was aimed right at you. I'm now very happy. Offspring divide time between study and baseball team. They're gonna let me pitch next year. Why wait? Aim already perfect. What's that? Sun also revealed secret of tobacco mixture. Close doors. Who's that girl? Young lady who calls herself Kathy Lenish. Gee, Pop, that's the way they photograph convicts. Also method used in some European countries where police keep record of all citizens. But what's Compton doing with it? 
is only one of many questions would like to ask invisible Mr. Compton. A military map. Pop, I've got it. That tobacco came from Halid's. I heard Compton ask him for a special mixture tonight, and Halid said it was expensive. Don't you see? They were talking about secret information. Compton is Reiner, and Halid's been spying on fortifications. He sent him this map in a jar of tobacco. Look, here's the canal. These buildings are probably fortifications, and this X is the spot where they're going to strike. Sincerely hope so. Huh? If enemy strikes at spot marked X, then fleet is very happily out of danger. Why, what do you mean? This is map of old Panama Cemetery. Old Panama Cemetery? Mr. Compton? Mr. Compton? Excuse, please. You seek document containing most unflattering photograph? Can I explain how Mr. Compton obtained possession of this? No, but he telephoned me tonight he had it. He said he'd return it if I came here and answered a few questions. What sort of question? I don't know. Did he suggest Baroness von Zardes might be secret agent? No, no. Truth win more friendship than lies. Yes, he suspected me because I concealed my identity. Because I'm so afraid of being sent back. Why? Map of Europe has lost your native country. But I could be sent back. I have no passport. Please, please don't give me away. I want to make a new home in the United States. I want to forget how my father and brother were executed because they spoke against the cruelty of the invaders. Don't you see? I can't go back. It means death for me or, or the concentration camp. You know a person named Reiner? How do you know that name? Excuse. I ask question first. Reiner was a member of the secret police who arrested my father and brother. Is he here? Has he come for me? No. On soil of democracy, you are safe from persecution. May I have my identity card, please? Later. Inside pocket like vault of National Bank. You won't show it to anybody. May I go back to work now? Yes. Thank you. Good night. Gee, you sure believed her alibi awful quick. Bad alibi like dead fish. Cannot stand test of time. Meantime, suggest thorough search for more light on Mr. Compton's identity. Oh, you know me, Pop. I never miss a thing. Pop! Is he dead? No heart strong enough to hold bullet. What does the passport say his name is? Passport and photograph say Cliveden Compton. Then he isn't Reiner. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he is. And the Baroness killed him. She has a please, strong... Please, mood. call police. Hello? Operator! Operator! They don't answer. Hello, Senor Chan. Senor Manolo, may I use telephone for urgent call? Why, yes, of course. Come in. Thank you. There is the telephone. Connect me with military police. Have one of mine. Thank you. Captain Lewis, please. Captain Lewis, Lieutenant Chan speaking. Regret to report death of Mr. Compton at San Pablo Hotel. 
Mr. Compton murdered. Thank you. We'll wait here. When did this happen? Sometime earlier this evening. Did you hear the shot? Oh, no. I, I just come home. Quick. Where you get cigarette? Why, I, I found them on the table in your room. Well, what is wrong? These are cigarettes from Mr. Godley's body. Godley's? Well, they are poison. Senor Manolo, how you know secrets shared only by police and murderer? I'm going, Pop. Everything's going black. Oh. Suggest postponement of deathbed scene. Cigarette quite harmless. Oh. Huh? Y you mean they, they weren't godlies? Boy, oh boy. Why don't I think of nifties like that? Say, just prove Manola knew how godly was killed. He's Reiner. Perhaps. Gee, if that gun could only talk. It would tell us who tried to kill you. Gun can be made to talk. Observe, please. Artibalistics proved that bullet from Mr. Compton's body fired by same gun also aimed at Humboldt's self. No doubt about it. The test bullet matches the murder bullet. Marks left by gun barrel on bullet like fingerprints. And you say this gun, the gun that killed Compton, is registered in Manolo's name? Yes, the police have been on the lookout for him ever since he ducked out of the hotel last night. Charlie, do you think Manolo could be Reiner? Could be, or Confederate. If that's so, where does Compton come in? Why was he killed? We'll know more when identity of Mr. Compton established. We're checking on that as fast as we can. He could be Reiner. So could the missing Dr. Grocer. In fact, any one of them could be Reiner. Charlie, the fleet goes through the canal today. We've got to break this. You've got to get Reiner. We'll do humble best. That map might have meant something to Compton or the man that killed him, but it doesn't tell me anything. X marks the spot, but where's the spot? We take path here to right. Mr. Chen! Mr. Chen! Come over here quickly. There's someone alive in one of these tombs. I was photographing the stained glass window in one of the older tombs when I heard someone groan. I'm sure it came from there. And Mr. Chen, look at the name on it. Ahmad Halid. Isn't that the name of the Egyptian who was on the plane with us? You heard sound from inside? Distinctly, like a groan. In view of what happened to Mr. Godley and then Mr. Compton, I decided it was wiser to get help than to investigate alone. Most wise. Suggest you remain outside and away from door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Again? What are you doing here? Gee, Pop, am I glad to see you. Why, it's your son. Features familiar as markings on bad penny. Now, son unharmed? Yeah. Please, explain. Well, after you left for the governor's office, I saw Halid leave his shop. I decided to follow him. He led you here? Yeah. Did you see the name on the tomb? Yes. Well, I got it all doped out. The real Ahmed Halid is dead, and this fellow Reiner, whoever he is, is posing as Halid. Because what would a guy that's alive want with a tomb? Say, there's something in what he says, Charlie. Unless you consider his nationality and possible religion. Miss Finch is right. Not exceptional for Egyptian to prepare final resting place before death. Sounds awful screwy to me. Son's grammar, result of expensive American education. Did Halid enter tomb? No. He circled around to the back and then disappeared. I waited almost an hour before I decided to investigate. Even in graveyard, son forgets parable of angels and fools. Well, I didn't exactly rush in, Pop, but the door was open, so I thought I'd take a look around. And just as I started to investigate, somebody hit me over the head and dragged me over here. Did you get a glimpse of who jumped you? No, I was standing just about here when it happened. 
Yeah, just about here. I just break my neck. You're lucky, son. Very extremely grateful for son's safety. Also discovery of hidden tomb. Someone here recently. Is it safe for me to come down? Well, suit yourself, lady. What's this, Pop? Clothing too modern for corpse. Look for identification of living man. Okay, Pop. I won't miss a thing. Mr. Chan, come over here. Look. Mirror, makeup pencil, all articles necessary for disguise. Nothing in these clothes, Pop. All the labels have been cut out. Charlie, look. Container designed to treat contents gently. This one's empty. No smell. This one's full. Please. Empty tins cause for alarm, not full ones. What do you mean, Mr. Chan? Go on up, Miss Finch. You too, Jimmy. Gee, Pop, you look almost scared. What is it? Explosive. Explosive? Empty tins indicate contents recently transferred to different containers. Gee, if some of the stuff isn't here, he must have taken it into the canal zone. He's going to blow up the canal. Sincerely hope, son, exaggerating as usual. Oh, I asked for excitement, but I didn't expect anything like this. Oh, gosh, this is terrible. What's the matter? Oh, the door! Oh, I can't open it. Dad, it's locked. What? Oh, Mr. Chan, do something. Hiya. Okay, better get a new card before this one falls apart. Hi, need any help? Oh, no, 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 sir. Oh, come on, I'll give you a hand. No, no, no. Up she goes. What's the matter? Well, if... I break it both the way. Oh, they dock you, huh? I see, senor, see. Si. Well, have Joe sign for the supply in the office. See. Si. some more of that front office stuff. I suppose we'll have to do it. Gee, I'm thirsty today. Give me a cup. Si, senor. See you next week if we don't get too thirsty by then. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. this morning. Any hint about where they were going? There's something gravely wrong, or Captain Lewis would have communicated with me sometime during the day. And with Chan also missing, gentlemen, I confess, I don't know how to proceed. What time is it now, Dad? 8.15. Only three minutes since we looked the last time. Nerves make time crawl backward. We gotta find some way out of here. Wait. I've wasted enough shots on luck. Tomb constructed like prison cell. But it's got me crazy. We don't know where the stuff is planted and when it's due to go off. And every minute that passes is... I'll yell some more if you think it'll do any good. If shouts fail to bring visitor in daytime, highly improbable at night. Mr. Chen, I have an idea. 
It may seem pretty foolish, but... Dividing line between folly and wisdom. Very faint in dark tomb. Well, I wondered if we could take a small portion of that nitroglycerin and blast our way out of here. Pop, we could. We could rig up one of those cans with some string, please, use one of those candles. Please. Very brave idea, but prefer to meet ancestors in more recognizable form. I'll bet I could fix it. Wait. Oh. Quiet. But if we don't call, they may go away. Shh. Blow out candles. Up your hands. Got him, Charlie. I did not fire. You didn't. Neither did I. I was afraid of hitting you or Jimmy. Most strange. <coughs> Miss Finch, where are you? Here. What happened? Someone fired two shots and ran right past me. I'll take a look. One moment, please. Identity of victim may establish clue. Manolo! Is he dead? He's dead, all right. Oh, Mr. Chan. That's the third one to go. The third passenger on that plane. What is it, Pop? Most important, we find telephone at once. Hello? Hello, Charlie. Where are you? What happened? No time to explain. Must prevent fleet from entering canal. That's impossible now. The fleet began entry four hours ago. Then make immediate search of powerhouse at Miraflores for high explosives. Yes, I understand. We'll find comb the plant. I'll meet you there. Get me the Miraflores power control. Mr. Connor. The fleet is well into the canal. Our only hope now is to discover where Ryder planted the explosives. We've searched every inch of the building, sir. No evidence of any explosives. I told you there's no bomb in here. How could they have smuggled it in? Could we be wrong, Charlie? Of course you're wrong. Most honestly hope so. Strange Governor Webster not yet arrived. He should be here. What are you doing here? I don't know. They sent soldiers for me. Who? Why have I been arrested? I have done nothing. No one's been arrested yet. Really suggest all fellow passengers of Mr. Godley brought here for questioning. But why here? Patients lead to knowledge. How oh, very too. Hey, Pop, we'd better get out of here. They can't find the stuff and all of us will be blown up any minute. Blown up? What does he mean? Why are we here? Well, Mr. Chairman, what's he saying? Powerhouse? Mr. Governor, have been... Just a minute, please. Dr. Grosser delayed me. Have you found any explosives? Unfortunately, no. Precaution much safer than daring. Suggest immediate evacuation of building. Order everybody out at once. Yes, sir. Everybody, everybody out. Right. Everybody everybody out. out. Everybody he goes all at once. Must ask present group to remain. Are you insane? If there is real danger, you can't hold these people here. Detention necessary to save Panama Canal. Well, think what you're doing, man. If there is a bomb in here, you're, you're murdering innocent people. A few minutes ago, Mr. Cabot strongly doubted existence of bomb. Well, please let Miss Lenish go. Or at least the women. Stand where you. you are. Regret you are all suspects in plot to imperil fleet at moment of war crisis. One among you is notorious master of sabotage known as Reiner. Only Reiner knows where nitroglycerin is hidden. Only Reiner knows exact moment bombs set to explode. Only Reiner can save own life now and your lives. But suppose he doesn't. Suppose he's the kind who's willing to die. I've considered possibility. But can he wait? 
minute by minute, second perhaps by second, knowing exact moment explosion will send him to join his ancestors. There is Reiner. The plot is not only explosives, but a plague, a horrible plague. The he man is insane. I experiment. With plague virus on rats, yes. Without permission of authorities? True. But when I found the rats had been stolen, I did not hesitate in my duty. Tonight I reported everything to the governor. Everything. And I accuse you of stealing them. Anyone would have done that. Did you destroy them? Of course I did. No, please. You will explain tomb in cemetery and frequent journeys there. I bought it years ago as a final resting place. Recently I learned others have visited there that it is used to hide something. And I suspected of the doctor that he was Reiner. How you know then of spy named Reiner? Monsieur Compton was a member of the British Secret Service on the trail of Reiner. And I sold him information. That's how I know his. In the name of mercy, let us out of here. Please, yes, please, yes, please. people someplace else. Sorry, I must continue question here. You fool, you'll die with us. I'm willing to assume risk to assist fleet of favorite nation. Let me go back to my park. You can't let him stay in there. Please get him out. Why don't we do something? We are three against one. Let's get you out of the way. Stay where you are, gentlemen. Oh, Mr. Chan, please. We're getting out of here. Stay where you are. Dr. Grocer and Halid, come on. Drop that gun, Mr. Chan. Drop it. Get out of the way. Get away from that door. Don't one of you move. Just a minute, Miss Finch. A woman. Is she? Say, is she? I think you won, Mr. Chan, but you haven't. You'll die with me. Correction, please, Miss Reiner. Sorry to steal a moment of triumph. But time bomb without electric arteries cannot speak. Gosh, Pops. You mean, you mean there wasn't any danger? No danger. Infernal machine rendered harmless before arrival of suspects. Or give trick of terror, but trick necessary to force Reiner to betray identity through fear of death. Miss Reiner, reputation for cleverness not exaggerated. Our timely arrival in cemetery today prevented cold-blooded murder of favorite son. Gosh, Pop, you mean me? Knowing Captain Lewis and self about to find son, Lady cleverly led us to him. Knowing at the same time she was planning to lock us in tomb. But she locked herself in too. Proving superior intelligence. Knowing explosives already on way to canal, had only to wait with us in tomb and provide self with unbreakable alibi. But like actress intoxicated by success, lady overplayed part. When speaking of blasting way out, she thoughtlessly used word nitroglycerin. When humble self had not revealed nature of explosives in container. Ladies, gun, please. Too late now to punish your confederate Manolo for murder of Mr. Compton and Mr. Godley. But science of ballistics will prove that bullets which killed Manolo in graveyard tonight were fired from this gun. Take her away. Baroness von Zardas need have no fear. Betrayer of loved ones will now receive just punishment. That's a great sight. Intelligent defense of nation, best guarantee for years of peace.